Welcome to Abinna Michael Ministries, a ministry dedicated to taking the gospel to the nations of the earth. There's a difference between being discharged and acquitted. To be discharged, because they know what exactly what they are trying to say. To be discharged and acquitted is that there's nothing held against you, seen against you, be going. But to be discharged means you are free, but there are some things we still have to look into. The word justify, Paul says, therefore being justified by faith. Now, look up. There are many ways people get justification. In today's Christianity, the one that Paul preaches is justification by faith. First, let us see the word justification and see what it means. Can we look at the Amplified now? I don't want to go to the Greek. Let's just look at the Amplified because the Amplified is so close. Therefore, since we are justified, what does it mean? Acquitted, declared righteous, and given a right standing with God. What was Namdekano? What was the verdict that the judge gave? He says, discharged and acquitted, which means with all the count, all the things that were leveled against the man, we didn't see anything. On an, on another day here, on a day here, me so. So they checked him and they said, all of these things, there's nothing. So this guy should be discharged and acquitted. Now. One of the synonyms for the word justification, it means acquitted. That's what Paul says. Therefore, since we are justified, to be justified means to be acquitted. That means we were held in ransom. Just like Namdekano, we were put in the bar to be judged. It was now Satan that was bringing up accusation against us. This guy cannot go to heaven. This guy cannot speak in tongues. This guy should not be blessed. This guy is a sinner. This guy committed 1545 abortion. This guy jumped fence. This guy killed my grandfather. This guy is a murderer. This guy is a swindler. This guy is a forward nine. Only you do all this thing. You truly need to die. <laughs> and there is a judge seated there that's papa god who calls himself the righteous judge now there is one who is your lawyer standing and that man is jesus christ and on his right hand he's holding what is called the blood and this blood speaketh better things so satan is on the other side ranting that guy must be killed that guy must be shinted that guy is not qualified that guy is that blah 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 blah, 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 blah. and the judge says yes you do you have anything to say he says lord yes this thing in my hand is my precious blood. And this blood is from me. I actually did die on the cross for that guy. All of the sins of that guy before, now, and after, I actually took up when I said it is finished. In fact, I paid SS. So, Satan, do you have anything to say? The judge will look at it. Can I see the blood? And he looked at it. It's a holy, pure blood. Stainless. Tell someone, stainless. And he looked at it and said, um, Satan, do you have anything to say? Because it's an evidence. He said, no, my Lord. That means this guy. And you standing there. When, they finish, when Satan finished dealing with you, you bend your neck. Because truly, you have nothing to say. You did all those things. You are a Yahoo guy. You are, you are a killer. You bend your neck. You use your mother for rituals. And now her spirit is pursuing you. Even the money they don't give you. And Jesus stands here and says, Put it on me. On me. On my be, On my be, On my be. I died for him also. And God looked at it. Looked at the blood. And says, This is my judgment. Pam. And your heart is panting. Uh, Mr. Solomon Izuna Ezoji, you are hereby discharged and acquitted. You can now go because one paid for you. You now came out. They opened the gate and you came out and said, I am justified. Now, it is difficult for that guy to believe that truly he is justified because he did all those things. So he's looking for a way to modify himself that he did it. And that's why Paul says, the only way I want you to modify that you did that thing is to accept it by faith. I did it for you by faith. Accept it by faith. Don't try to put up, start wearing agbada or start wearing long neck, you know, turtle neck and start singing. Oh yeah, no be. Oh yeah, no be. That is not what brought you justification. 
Justification is what Jesus Christ has done. And that is what we have. So Paul is saying, be now justified. We are acquitted. We are declared righteous and given a right standing with God. Now, I have a standing. I can come before God and say, Father. And he says, my son. Before now, I couldn't do it. But because of the blood of Jesus. Can we put our hands together for Jesus?